The famous and insanely rich crown prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman, has gone wild. He is no longer just the world's king of luxury gold-plated and diamond-dressed supercars, yachts, private jets, and mansions, but also the new king of luxury-based mega-projects. What did you think that mega-projects are all some sort of industrial, commercial, or infrastructure projects? Nope, mega-projects can include and even be almost entirely focused on establishing what can only be described as exclusive luxury heavens for the super-rich. The type that unfortunately most of us can never step foot in because just snapping a picture of these places might land you a couple of days in the dungeon if the wrong billionaire or royal in a swimsuit appeared in the photo. Without further ado, let's take a tour of Mohammed bin Salman's soon-to-be open one-of-a-kind super luxury resort Sindala. The sudden trillion dollars plan. Okay, before we go any further, let's just make something very important clear. Saudi Arabia is rich, and we mean ridiculously rich, and about half of its population is made up of foreign professionals and workers. The country sits on top of an ocean of oil, and its ruling royal family is quite old and serious about turning the kingdom into an unparalleled advanced diversified economy. Throughout the years, progress was kind of slow, and then everything changed when Mohammed bin Salman reached the top. Mind you that he is the crown prince, but is pretty much in charge of the whole country with the blessings of his father, King Salman. So what happened when MBS got the key to the kingdom in 2015? He turned the country upside down for the better, stalled old mega projects and developments came back online, and a sudden trillion dollars and counting plan for rebuilding the whole country went into motion. He also abolished the ancient religious police and forced the country to adopt the more progressive and lenient branches and interpretations of Islam, and also handed women more rights, especially in terms of holding high-level corporate and government positions, and the right to drive. For the Saudis, MBS was and still is like a breeze of fresh air. Additionally, he showered his people with money, jobs, and you name it which made their lives full of even more luxuries. Mind you, Saudis were already living a life of luxury before MBS, but he took them to a whole new level of pure excessiveness with a hint of gold and crushed diamonds. Today, most Saudis have multiple cars, top-of-the-line Apple phones, and Macs among other accessories. And it is common for them to have such items plated with cold and covered with crushed diamonds. And of course, they have a thing for painting their cars with gold too. Seriously, these guys are super obsessed with gold and diamonds, it is simply insane. MBS also did something quite interesting. As I mentioned before, half of the Saudi population is expats and foreign nationals, mostly workers and professionals. This fact combined with the fact that Saudi citizens have been drowned in luxury and free wealth for decades made them sort of lazy. I mean why go to work or get a college degree when you have more than 12 million people doing everything for you, right? That did not settle well with MBS who is known for working on average 16 hours a day, take that Elon Musk. So he started nearly 1,000 mega projects across the country and forced his people to get to work as bosses and top managers in these new massive ventures. And he sent the kids to universities and made it fun while at it so God forbid they get bored and quit. All of this worked like magic, the whole country progressed in merely eight years more than the whole previous eight decades combined and as you have probably guessed, luxury became the way of life of about 22 million Saudi citizens and a good portion of the foreigners who call the kingdom home. In addition to actual investments and a reward system MBS had put in place to make all of this a reality, he also pulled another $100 billion trick. He would go on mad personal spending sprees that made the whole country envy his lifestyle. He bought the serene yacht for $500 million and hung on one of its walls the Salvatore Mundi painting by Leonardo da Vinci, which he acquired for about $450 million. Then he bought a $200 million mansion in France and spent another $150 million to make it more, you know, homey. He also built a few palaces across the country to showcase his humbleness. We have a few videos detailing his top most expensive purchases, so make sure you go check them out. We even have a video about his car collection and entire private luxury airline. Anyway, all of this insane bling bling by MBS made the 15,000 members of the Saudi ruling royal family lose their heads which by all means was his intention. Then he told them, Oh, you want some of this, my dear cousins? Get to work, and he provided the work with top pay. MBS pretty much did the same thing to the whole country. As a result, everyone, citizen or not, tasted the addictive flavors of extreme luxury and prestige. So there simply was no going back to being couch potatoes living the good life at the government's expense. Now all of this sounds good and quite crazy, right? You know, a king who controls about $12 trillion of oil and gas revenues sparkling some comfy jobs, gold and diamonds on his people, and even some foreigners too. 
However, there was a problem that kept MBS sleepless. This system was not exactly sustainable, after all, his kingdom was bound to run out of oil in 2075 if not before. So he decided, what the heck, I will turn the country into more than just a self-reliant global industrial, financial, commercial and innovation hub. I will turn my kingdom into a neo-futuristic paradise that also spells pure luxury, even from far. And that's exactly what is happening across Saudi Arabia right now. We cannot tackle all of these projects at once however, we did promise you one of them today. So without further ado, here it is the Sindala Island. Sindala Island First of all, Sindala is part of the new semi-autonomous under construction 17,000 square mile city state of Niam in Saudi Arabia. Originally, this island resort was not in the Jaga project plan, however, MBS decided in early 2022 to have it built as quickly as possible. Why? To sort of put an end to all the skeptics and naysayers who keep doubting his ultimate $1 trillion terra project Neom, which is well under construction and investments are pouring in. It's almost as if he is telling them, in your face, luxury style, but you are still welcome to visit if you can afford it. Once it opens in 2024, billionaires, millionaires, and potential investors from around the world will be able to explore the progress of Neom while staying and vacationing in Sindala, the world's new top premier luxury destination. The designers of the island are from the world-class Italian firm Luca Deni Design and Architecture, which does not only specialize in luxury construction designs, but also in super yacht designs. It will be like no other resort in the world and will feature unparalleled facilities including an all-opulent beach club, yacht club, holistic spa, and several hotels, including the first Marriott Autograph Collection Hotel's property in Saudi Arabia and two of the hotel chain's luxury collection properties. Unlike most resorts, Sindala is designed to blend with nature, to have no roads, and no negative effects on the environment. Its location in the unique and diverse Red Sea not too far from the Suez Canal is also quite ideal especially for the high-end yachting community. Designers are going as far as making the natural habitat untouched, which is almost unheard of when it comes to mega projects. It will feature a marina with a capacity to accommodate yachts up to 300 feet long. Well, we at least now know where all the wealthy Europeans and Arab royals will park their super yachts in the winter. It is a very genius sumptuous design in which they are using semi-transparent materials to capture the light of the setting sun to ignite the facades of the hotels. Precious colored crystals are being set under the roofs of the marina, walkways to capture the reflected light of the sea. And because it is Saudi Arabia and the project was ordered by MBS, we can only expect the hotel ceilings to be covered with gold leaf, the rooms to boast gold-plated Kleenex dispensers, and the walls to be decorated with original paintings worth millions of dollars. Sindala is just the tip of an iceberg of luxury mega projects taking place all over the Middle East and the world, so make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified every time we bring to you new intriguing stories about the ultra-rich, their insane possessions, and stunning mega projects.